Today on the channel, we did some wings. We broke out the Lynx rotisserie basket, but more importantly, we tried the best damn barbecue sauce. Stay tuned, I'll show you how we did it. What's up everybody, welcome back to the patio. My name's Jake, you're watching Roman Cook. Now today we're gonna break out the Lynx. Been a little while since I used that and I wanna give it some love. And you know, before we get started, I wanted to go over a couple things. You know, first off, thanks for supporting the channel. It's steadily growing, and you know, obviously that doesn't ha happen without views and subscribers. So thank you for that. Uh, but I have been getting some emails and comments. Uh, you know, lots of questions on different things, especially the Komodo Komodo. You know, uh, the Komodo Komodo has been around for a long time, but there's not a lot of people doing videos on it. So I've been getting a lot of requests to do some more videos on that, and you know, some questions about the Yoder. And what I wanted to do was just give you an idea of some of the videos that are coming out in the future. Uh, one of them we're going to do is, you know, just how long the yoder goes. Uh, I'm doing it on 10 pounds of pellets because 20 pounds of pellets will take a little while. Uh, and in the winter time, I just, I don't have the light to do it. But, you know, if we figure out how long it'll go on 10 pounds, we know how long it's going to go on 20 pounds. You just multiply it by two and you'll get close enough. Uh, some more technical details, you know, behind starting and maintaining the fire on the Komodo Komodo. Got a couple of videos coming up for that. One of them we're going to use a quarter basket. I'm going to show you just how long that actually lasts for. And then, you know, a common question for the Komodo Komodo and just Komodos in general is a lot of people struggle with getting high heat uh, for some reason. You know, they stir up their, their lump and they're opening up their vents and they just can't get the temperatures where they want them. And lots of people will uh, ask questions about that. So I'm going to do a video specifically dedicated to that. Um, we're also going to... So if any of those interest you, please take a moment to subscribe now and, uh, you know, stay tuned. Got lots coming up. But today, I have not actually done chicken wings using this guy. This is a basket that you can get for the lynx. And you can do anything in this. You can do potatoes, vegetables. Uh, we're gonna try some wings in it today and see how it works out. And one of the things that's driving this video is this bottle right here. This bottle says best damn barbecue sauce. This is the sweet lo lady love. Uh, apparently it's won, uh, you know, first place in mild tomato in the 31 annual, 31st annual American Royal World Series of Barbecue Sauce Contest. I didn't know there was such a thing. Uh, say that three times fast. Uh, but anyhow, if someone's gonna put best damn barbecue sauce on it, I need to try it and be the judge of that. So I am gonna try it. We're gonna do it on some wings today. And you know, when I go to restaurants and you see famous chicken or whatever, it drives me at the wall because if I haven't heard about it, it can't be that famous, right? Uh, people like to put big labels on it. I saw this on Instagram, uh, someone raved about it, and you know, obviously it won an award, so we're gonna give it a try today. Before we get into it, we gotta get our links going. Um, we're gonna use the rotisserie with the basket here, so we're gonna get the, the back burner fired up. Super simple here. You just gotta prime the element in the back, and then just turn it on high. Now it has a thermal coupler in there, so you wanna wait till that gets warm or the fire will just go out. And what I did, this guy's on natural gas. Uh, I just opened up all the, the controls for a little bit, uh, you know, maybe five seconds each, just to make sure we had the lines all full. I always turn off the gas when I'm not using it. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna use the rotisserie with the basket close there. And then we're gonna add in some extra burners here just to keep it warm inside there. It is about 37 degrees outside, so it's a little chilly. One of the things we've got here, depending on the links, this will come with one or two of them. Just to catch the greases, uh, I recently did a rotisserie picanha. Uh, not a video of it, but I did that and I forgot to put that underneath of it and I learned the hard way how easy it is with a little bit of wind and a little bit of grease, you can get a great flare up. So, you know, one of the things about the Lynx, talked about it in my one year review video, is you've got your rotisserie motor and this has got three different sizes. The thing that I like about it is that the Lynx is always plugged in. You've got lights there uh, and you've got electronic ignition and this has just got a little probe on the back of the grill. So you can just put that on and plug it in.
and then the Lynx has two positions uh, closer to the burner and then you can slide it further away I'm sorry further away from the burner if you're doing a really big piece of meat I think with the basket we can probably get right up there get the wings nice and crispy you know one of the things I like about the gas barbecue especially when it comes to wings is you know they're always crunchy right you've got lots of high heat in there you don't have to worry about the crisp when you do smoking wings on either of these guys uh, you know a lot of people email me and say you know how do I get crunchy wings so when we do the chicken battle or chicken wing battle we're going to address that at the same time uh, but you know most importantly you're going to go a little bit of a higher temp and you're going to want to dry those wings out all right put them on a rack put them in the fridge at least a few hours overnight if you can do it and just by doing that process, your wings are going to turn out way better. You know, typically when you smoke a wing, it's going to, you don't get that crispness. And sometimes the, the, the skin gets a little chewy. Uh, but if you follow that process, you can, you can definitely get a crispy wing. So we're going to let that guy get the temperature. We're going to season our wings up. Now I'm trying to let the barbecue sauce do the talking today. So we're going to give a little bit of a, a sprinkle of barbecue seasoning here just a classic barbecue one we're using the killer hogs uh, the barbecue rub he has a hot version if you're a hot fan this one's got a little bit of heat into it but it's it's not crazy i said it before that i'm kind of a wimp when it comes to spices uh, so i i usually stick to the more milder sauces or sorry rubs well and sauces for that matter but we're just going to give a light dusting here just to add some flavor there Give these guys a turnover so we get both sides. And one of the great things about it being so cold out here is it's colder than in the fridge, so I can have this chicken out here while I'm getting things prepped. In the summer, you're always trying to fight with flies and uh, keep everything cold. It's a nice little dusting. You know, the great thing about the basket is that it, you can put a lot of, a lot of wings in there. Uh, honestly, I don't know what happens when you really fill it up. Maybe we'll do a video and we'll fill it right up and see how they turn out. So now that we got our wings seasoned up the way we want, we're gonna let the, the rub kind of penetrate into the meat a little bit. Get this guy at the temperature. Um, gonna take a, a little bit. I'm gonna turn it up a little bit. We'll turn them up on medium just to kind of fast forward a little bit my goal is to really get this around probably 300 degrees 350 somewhere in that range and then we really just want to let the back burner the rotisserie burner do all the work there and get these guys crunchy and then depending on uh, how they how they look we, we might just pull them out of the basket throw them right on the grill so we can brush on some barbecue sauce and give them a taste stay tuned We'll be back once the grill's preheated. Been a little under 10 minutes. We're just over 300 degrees, so we're in great shape there. Uh, if you're a regular, recently, maybe two videos ago, I teased a uh, brisket video on the Yoder. I did record that video. I also threw out that video uh, because I, I don't know what I was thinking. You know, the goal was to do a hot and fast brisket video. And uh, for some reason, I threw the brisket on the bottom great and I, I mean I, I never do that I, I don't know what I was thinking uh, but I walked away for two and a half hours and I came out and learned that you know you can do a brisket too hot and fast it should have been on the top rack so we're going to redo that video soon uh, in addition to that you know it's January lots of people decide to work out or they say they're going to work out they say they're going to eat a little bit more healthier uh, when I make pulled pork normally I don't use a, a butt or a shoulder too much fat for me I just I don't really like it I will eat it and enjoy it but I would rather do it a little differently and I'll use a, a pork loin so we're going to do that in the Komodo, Komodo real soon so stay tuned for that 325 let's get this basket set up so this guy's just got a spring-loaded handle here and you open it up and away you go now one thing when you look at something like this, you're thinking, oh man, it's gonna be a pain to clean. I have a solution for that. 
I'm not going to share it today, uh, but I talked about a product uh, in, in uh, I think in the Yoder cleaning video and um, you know PBW is what it's called. It's on Amazon. It's a white powder, biodegradable. You put it into a bucket, throw this in, let it sit overnight and it'll come out like brand new. Not something you have to do too often, but when this kind of gets gunked up and stuff, you can just throw it in there and get it really clean. What we're gonna do to help it not get too clean or too greasy is we're just gonna give it a quick spray. And this is just a, an organic avocado mix spray. We'll give this guy a spray. That'll just help with clean up a little bit. This is pretty simple. Dump our wings in. Locker basket, and you can use this basket with any Lynx product. It actually has, you can see that there is a screw here, and um, there's a hex with three different sizes that actually rotates depending on what size you're gonna have. So for this guy, we're just gonna put it through like that. I'll throw this guy on. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to put this on high. That way the wings will turn around. There are some paddles in there to help that, help flip the chicken around. Uh, but that way it's going to get in front of that burner um, a lot so that we can get that crisp on it. We're going to play with the temperature dials. Again, keep it in around 350 area. And uh, I'm going to go inside, wash my cutting board, and uh, I'll bring you back when we're almost done. All right, so one thing I realized very quickly, when the basket is not full uh, with wings, they just sit on the bottom. The paddles kind of turn them, but it's probably gonna take a long time and I'm not gonna get the crunch that I want. So the nice thing about the basket, you can slide it wherever you want. And I moved it over top to a burner that was already preheated. Wet medium. The Lynx carries a lot of heat in the bottom because it's got all these ceramic briquettes and they get hot. So you gotta be careful about your temperature there. Uh, and then I turned this guy on. Uh, we're on high right now. So we're basically, we're trying to get some heat rolling over there and we're gonna use the underneath uh, direct heat to crisp them up. All right, so it's been about 21 minutes. I'm just gonna do a quick temp check. We're over 400 degrees, so we're in good shape there. I gotta think these guys are really close to being done. Uh, but I just want to get a quick quick baseline and then I will uh, crank it up so we can get some crisp on there. What I'm going to do is just kind of pull this guy forward a little bit. All right. That way I can get... A little slippery with all the oil. All right. So grab one of these guys and just do a quick temp check. And let's just check the temperature here real quick. Yeah, all right, so 168, so we're in really good shape there. The good thing about chicken wings, you can take them up high. They're not gonna complain. You can go up to 185 and not have a problem. So I am gonna put this guy in here and what we're gonna do is we're just gonna turn this on high. Let me get this guy back in here.
All right, so we got that guy back in there. We're gonna slide this over here. Now the link sear burner is already on high, so we're gonna slide this over here. Turn this on high. We're gonna let that trident burner finish it off. All right, so it's been another 10 minutes. Things are looking good. Total cook time is about, I don't know, 35 minutes. It was, they've been done for a little bit. Uh, I got tied up inside. Uh, so you could probably do them in really 30 minutes. Got some nice crunch on the outside here. I'm gonna turn this guy off. do is we'll open this guy up. Uh, one thing's for sure, they definitely look nice and crispy. Got a couple that stuck to the basket. They look good. I mean, they got some great crunch on them. They're crust. Now we're gonna let that cool off for a little bit. You can see, I mean, there's, they're pretty crunchy. They're not actually as crisp. There's a couple that are crisp. But they're not actually as crisp as I would they would normally be if you would do them like direct over the the burners, but I mean, yeah, there's some crisp there. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna throw them back on uh, real quick just so I can get some sauce on them. I wanna put them, I want the sauce to warm up and just tack up a little bit. I just wanna kinda show you what they look like. Now all I can say is this better be the best damn barbecue sauce ever because I'm putting it on all my wings. It smells good. Now we're only gonna let that sit for a minute. This is super hot, so it's not gonna take too long. Only about 30 seconds. We're gonna turn these right away. The one thing I learned about the Lynx <laughs> with the, those ceramic briquettes down below. I mean, it gets hot quick and burns your knuckles. Burn my knuckles too many times. So we'll just put a little sauce on here as well. All right, so we're just gonna let that sit for 30 seconds, 45 seconds until they're done. All right, they're looking good. We don't wanna burn the sauce on the bottom. There's our finished product. Now, as you can imagine, they're gonna be ridiculously hot right now. So we're gonna let them sit down or sit and cool for uh, a minute or two. Uh, they do smell good. So anxious to try them. Doesn't take long to cool down when it's 37 degrees outside. These are looking great. Get myself a big old drumstick here. Not too bad, I mean, the wings got some nice crunch to them. Happy with them there. The sauce is actually a little sweet. It's good. Is it the right sauce for chicken wing? Maybe not, probably on a breasted chicken or a whole chicken or something like that. Um, but it's actually, it's, it's really not, not too bad. I do like it. Is it the best? I don't know. Uh, all comes down to personal taste. 
I've got some other sauces that I, that I do like, but I, I will tell you, it's actually, it is pretty darn good. Definitely uh, would buy some more of it. Want to try it on some different chicken, uh, do it on some chicken breasts, a whole chicken, and uh, try it out that way. But overall, it, it is pretty darn good. It is sweet, like they say, sweet lady. Um, it's a little sweeter than I expected. Um, so I might only use like a salt and pepper, something like that. Anyhow, overall, pretty happy with it. You should try it out. Uh, quick recap. So we did our wings, broke with the rotisserie basket, started with the rear burner there, this, the, the rotisserie burner, realized that wasn't gonna work. Uh, just once I started the chicken rotating around, it was clear that that was not gonna give it too much heat. Uh, so we slid it over, over medium, and we let the outside burners run on high. We got up to 400 and uh, got some great temperature going on there. Now that I've been through it once, what I would probably do is get that grill up to 400 and put it over high heat right away. Uh, high heat's gonna allow it to really get crisp up and uh, you're gonna get some more of that char that, you know, we don't have a lot of char here. There's a little bit here just starting to form it, but if I go any further, I'm gonna overcook my wings. So I will definitely try it again, but I would, uh, you know, experiment on your own, but crank it up on high and uh, get some good, good char on those wings. Overall, pretty happy with, with them for a first run, uh, but something to experiment with. It's just a little different. The great thing about it was, is I could go inside, I could have a rum and coke and uh, relax and not have to babysit it. So it was nice that way. Uh, overall, great little experiment. Thanks as always for watching. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. We're doing new videos every weekend. I'll see you soon.